Well, I think one of the more interesting challenges of this setup was engineering this offset pier. So you can see the original pier in the dome is off center. This is alt azimuth needs to be in the center. So uh, Mr. Killian had a concept of a cantilever to put the telescope in the center of the dome and then offset it with counterweights. So we just keep all the compressure balanced on the pier. This is the instrumentation uh, that we designed for this optical path. This here is a bond shutter. This was an adapter that we designed and made. Push the focuser out here from plane wave. Filter wheel. We have a 2K camera now. We'll be eventually upgraded to a 4K. We have a glycol system to cool it. And up top you can see a wire management system that we designed and installed. It goes in the original lifting mechanism for the one meter from plane wave. It goes across, it's fully adjustable up and down, and just holds the wire so we can do a full rotation on the D rotator. The Naval Observatory is uh, doing research in celestial reference frames, and the first project we were doing with this telescope will be looking at quasars, very distant objects which are bright and point like. They're very good for uh, reference points in the sky and uh, particularly we have um, a couple of objects which show a positional difference between the radio and the optical position. For that we'll be using the optical arm of the telescope with the camera here and the filter wheel and later on we have other projects where we will utilize the other end of the telescope for near infrared work. <laughs> 